Hi guys, this is completely a new video and it's a new idea that I just came up with like I was about to do my Bible study and I just thought to myself why not take you guys along with me on a real time Bible study so this is recorded in real time, you know, fast paced, no what whatsoever and as you can already tell I was already in the middle of like my Bible study and God was just like oh how about you share this on YouTube and um, what usually happens is that I listen to worship music during my Bible study depending on when I'm having it. So if I'm having my Bible study in the early mornings, like the 6 a.m. Bible study, 5 a.m. Bible study, I usually don't play music when I'm doing that one. But then if I do Bible study during the day, there's quite a lot of noise outside. So I need to set the atmosphere, set the pace of how I want my Bible study in that moment to go so usually i turn on worship music and i worship myself into my bible study um the reason i do that is because you need to set a foundation um not even necessarily set a foundation but you have to invite the presence of god to shut down every single other thing that and thought that your mind can have to fully absorb yourself in your bible study to fully focus to fully be sensitive to the holy spirit and what best way to do that than praise and worship like praise and worship is the best thing ever like enter his gods i mean enter his cuts with praise you know so you praise yourself into that area and that's just another thing or oh, that's something that's very important about today's bible study so um i haven't been like physically studying my bible in uh five days or so if not a, a full week um and that's because i've i've, I've, I've been very um, tired and, and yeah, I will explain that in a completely separate video. But right now, we're going to focus on the Bible study. So, if you follow me on my Instagram page or on TikTok, you will see that I tend to post a lot about my Bible study times and I post every single morning. So, usually, like that helps me, it keeps me accountable because, yeah, it's just the way that I use to keep me accountable because everybody else can see that I've been doing my Bible study. And in that way, I know that there are certain people like my leader that will ask me when I'm not posting about my Bible study anymore. Like, oh, are you still doing your Bible study? What's happening with that? And what's going on? And that's just always a good thing to, you know, just um, keep me accountable. Um, but that's not necessarily the point of this video. So let's just go back to what is already happening. You would see that I always have like a lot of highlighters. And yeah, I, I actually wrote an exam this morning so that's why um you see that other pile of books and papers that are sitting on my bed with a bottle of water and <laughs> a duvet that was because i was um you know settling in and stuff like that so there is a part where my laptop stopped working during this bible study probably why also i would i i would stop because the music would stop like because i don't, I don't know it was the devil trying to fight my bible study and me recording it i just kept on as i'm hearing that's why it's important to know how to like basically when you have a set goal in mind and when you really just want to get with god you can't let the physical things stop you from getting into his presence so i was studying the book of psalms well i've been studying psalms for i think about two months now and i'm almost nearing the end and what i usually do when i'm studying psalms is that i read out loud um and the reason i read out loud is because psalms is like it's like a song so some of them are songs some of them are poems and reading it out loud just really affirms what god is saying and on this specific psalm right now on, on that yellow note this is what i wrote that god is a provider he is majestic he is a covenant keeping god and i will obviously refer you guys to the scripture of why i came to that conclusion or that revelation um in psalms 111 this one it says that praise the lord i will exalt the lord with all my heart in the council of the upright and in the assembly and then verse 2 says great are the works of the lord they are pounded by all who delight in them and the word pounded god really highlighted how we need to always go back and remember god like because that's what fuels our faith because we know that he's done it before and he's 
never failed us so he will do it again and that's just something that God highlighted to me that I should pound on his work pound on his word pound on his deeds and what he's capable of doing and then it further goes down and says glorious and majestic are his deed and his righteousness endures forever he has caused his wonders to be remembered the lord is gracious and compassionate he provides food for those who fear him who remembers his covenant and i think this is one of like forever this this was like one of the biggest highlights because uh um, you're probably gonna see me cry in this video because uh sometimes god really just touches me and just like reminds me like i feel his presence as i read his word and he generally just like you know that like what was happening right now i think that was just after i read um the fact that he provides food for those who fear him he remembers his covenant forever because they like for the the month of january and february i didn't necessarily have enough funds to have food to cover for myself and god was like i'll provide and like i would have moments and days where people would just randomly bless me with food with money and it was i, I was in so much awe because i was shocked at like how is this even possible and when i opened up my bible today i opened it up in proverbs and i was reading in proverbs and it was just showing me how like falling in love with god is one of the greatest gifts that you can ever give to yourself and it's one gift that no one in the world can take away from you because i mean you are in love with your savior no one can stop his like the move of god like no one started it you know um and god like it's just all god you know and like when you further read down the scripture there's one that i highlighted in green i think that's what i'm doing right now and it speaks about the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom all who follow his precept um it's his precepts right have good understanding and to him belonging uh to him belongs eternal praise so um the one biggest part obviously like referred to the scripture to proverbs 1 verse 7 and the reason i referred to proverbs 1 verse 7 is because it's the one that like it was the first scripture i encountered about how we must fear the lord because like fearing the lord like reverent fear is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge and understanding and his precepts i think i've searched this up before so sometimes it depends on like which part of scripture i am um, reading and what god is like highlighting so sometimes he obviously highlighted precepts because i didn't understand what that meant or what that was and i remember searching it and realizing that it is obviously the law the principles are uh, that god has like had instructed the children of israel because throughout the old testament they were living on the law they were living on encounters with god um that like basically god the spirit of god would come upon one person and not necessarily everyone in the whole congregation and then here i'd stop to fix up my printer i mean my computer um so what i will do is uh not speak throughout the whole video because i feel like this video is very very long if i do that but this is just something i wanted to speak on so i'll just join you guys a little bit later you can take out your bible connect with me comment in the comment section if you're enjoying this and yeah Thank you.
are secure, they will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on your falls. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their home will be lifted high in honor. And that's when I wrote down that I am the righteousness of God. And I, there is a scripture later in Psalms 113 that says that um, in verse 7, he raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes, with the princes of his people. He settles the childless woman in her home as a happy mother of children. <laughs> and I wrote down that God qualifies and uplifts. And the reason I wrote this down is because, like, when you come from like a certain background and when you have experienced things in a certain way, because for me, obviously, I'm going to put it in my own personal conflict, like, you know, in my own personal space, you know, in my own personal life, I have not had the most easiest upbringing. I did not have the privileges that other people are awarded. Everything that I have, like, it's that whole concept of I had to obviously pray, pray through, and literally, it's been a God moment since the day I was born. And when I'm looking into the cold like God just he qualifies you because I disqualified myself from many things even starting this channel I had disqualified myself because I had a, a speaking um, dysfunction I couldn't speak properly I disqualified myself because I felt inadequate I s- possibly still do a little bit of disqualifying and feeling of inadequate but every time I read God's word he just goes over and over again and above and beyond to affirm me that he still loves me to affirm me that he will use me to affirm me that above everything else he will qualify me he will uplift me and i should not be focused on the world and that's just like a single little tiny piece another thing um the biggest thing that was mentioned throughout all the scriptures that i read today was praise the lord 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 and i just wrote down here um don't stop praising god like don't stop praising god when things are not coming out don't stop praising god when you don't see it happening don't stop praising god just because you don't see it doesn't mean he's not working and i feel like people say that all the time but when you're in the moment you feel so bound by everything that's happening but when you praise god you break chains when you praise god something happens when you lift up the name of jesus something happens and yeah just wanted to say that
He literally, our God is in heaven. That's what uh, verse 3 of Psalms 111 says, that our God is in heaven, but he does whatever he pleases. Like he does whatever he pleases. And that's exactly what God does. Like he generally doesn't care whether or not you were born in a poor family. He generally doesn't care whether, like he doesn't follow the normal procedure that human beings think is good to them. And the reason I loved this scripture is that in Psalms 111, this uh, four it says that uh, but their idols are silver and gold made by human hands they have mouths but cannot speak eyes but cannot see they have ears but cannot hear noses but cannot smell they have hands but cannot feel feet oh but cannot feel feet but cannot walk nor can they alter a sound with their throats those who make them will be like them and so with all who trust in them 
and this specific passage of scripture it like highlights how god our god like jesus god the father god the son god the holy spirit cannot in any way cannot be compared to other gods and the reason is our god is not necessarily made of silver and gold he has a mouth and we can hear him speak like our god we can hear our 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 god speak we can hear and see and feel and like basically like you can feel god's presence you can like you can experience god but with other gods that are human made you can't feel sense or have all these things they can give you a counterfeit of what it's like but it will never amount to that god-shaped hole in your heart because that god-shaped hole in your heart can only be filled by jesus no human being can ever replace that place no human being can ever take that position and no object that is made by a human being can ever replace the god-shaped hole in our hearts that's why we are mind body soul and spirit because our spirit is one that's specific and it's set to be in tune and in line that god in intended for that part of our bodies to be for him to be for worship to be living sacrifice and it's just it's amazing to see and to experience god's love but then at the same time it's painful to grieve what's happening in our society but when we um, invest our time when we study our word when we get in our presence and like get in god's presence when we pray to god to guide us to show us he presents himself he shows himself a merciful loving caring father and god is just so amazing i can't stress how amazing god is and yeah and then the scripture goes on to say that generations after me will be blessed and what was happening right now as you are watching me in the video i tend to break out in praise and prayer and worship while i do my bible study because it's a form of response like we respond to god's word with worship we respond to god's word with praise we respond with god's word with words and the way we do words is prayer communicating with god telling god how you feel about it and that's just something that i really really love doing and yeah this is just another glimpse of my mini little like this is such a very very intimate um <laughs> thing that i'm sharing to the internet i really, really don't even know why but this is something that the lord the, the spirit of god prompted me to do so i am definitely going to be obedient even though it feels so uncomfortable that you guys are going to be seeing me crying and seeing me picking up my my pens oh the reason i was picking up my pens i think is because i had completed the today's bible study or the catch-up bible study because i haven't like done my bible study on my physical bible in a long time but yeah that's what i was doing um mm, great stuff because i thought jude was a girl like i genuinely thought jude was a girl and then the first like a woman actually not even a girl and in the first chapter like not even the first chapter like the first bible study like the, obviously an introduction of jude we go in there and i couldn't find jude that's why you see me struggling there opening my other bible so i have like i have quite a lot of bibles but then i have two specific bibles that so the one that the brown one is the one that it like was gifted to me when i was younger um and then the other one was gifted to me last year which is a bible study i mean a, a journal bible so i can journal on the side that's why you see the other one has more colors the other one doesn't but before then i was using the other one and annotating on that one that's why that's how i knew that i was a journaler like i like to journal my bible other people can just read their bible i journal my bible i'm like cross reference i want to you know do all those pretty cute little notes and write revelations that i 
that God reveals to me and I, that's why I have sticky notes of every kind that like my Bible is made out of so many sticky notes and I've literally been reading from the center of my Bible so <laughs> that's why I am, I've been in Psalms and Ecclesiastics and Proverbs Titus is actually on the other side but those are the books I've actually read in the new general Bible so right now I was then doing the introductory Bible study stuff um, I mean Jude and the book is called Keep Keeping the Faith and the first part of the book obviously was me realizing that you is not a girl <laughs> but anyway that's not important um so they're gonna be like how the study works is that because she was explaining the study the, the the writer that we're just gonna be going like chipping it like certain passages of scripture or one verse because that Jude is very short and it's just made out of scriptures and it's a book before revelation I did not know that maybe I did but I wasn't aware Uh, probably the book I used to skip every time when we were in Sunday school and they were asking me to list all the books in the New Testament but anyway um, just reading through it and one thing that stood out was um, contending for the faith and that's just something that I feel like is in season and God's really been speaking to my heart to contend for the faith to contend for this generation and this generation of believers has to rise up and if we don't our children the generations to follow need to rip um yeah like because right now um in Jude 3 this is what the scripture reads dear friends although i was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share i felt compelled to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to god's holy people and we need to contend for the faith we need to stand firm in our faith and stand firm in the lord and yeah that's just one thing that just really got highlighted even to me that's why i'm sharing my bible study time that's why i'm sharing christian content everywhere i can because i want people to know god i want people to experience god like i'm experiencing god i don't want to keep like it's like a fire shut up in my bones (laughs) prophet jeremiah said and i feel like that's exactly what you know has been happening like this agitating in my spirit and i just really really want to i want people to get to know god's but i want people to be excited to read the bible and that's just another thing that god is revealing to me that um that's the reason i love sharing about my bible study i love sharing about like my bible study time moments and all of the stuff if you guys enjoy these videos please 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 let me know leave a comment in the comment section watch the videos to the end so that i know that you guys enjoy this content and this is the content that you want to see and yeah i hope you have one of the blessed days i hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me while i was making it and experiencing it as well and even when i'm editing it right now and speaking of the word over god is still speaking some amazing things consolidating every single revelation that he spoke about oh he showed me like during this time and during my bible study um, so yeah i will see you guys when i do the outro
Yeah!